Hello guys. So we hope you enjoyed the last sketch and remember to like and subscribe. Follow us on all those little things that are attached below. But now, after that funny little sketch there with our Xenomorph and He-Man, we're going to switch switch things a little bit to a more serious thing. See, me and Anna have a lot of issues that we've needed to discuss for a long time. And rather than just being normal and setting it off to the side and talking about it off camera, we are going to bring it here to you exclusively. Anna and I, like many other celebrities, are going to go to the red table. No, we're not. Why are we not going to the red table on it? Because we, we don't have a red table. The, the table's not red. Okay, well, what color is it then? Um, according to the wood chart, our table is garden walnut. All right, then. We're going to bring our issues in front of the camera and, and millions of strangers to see our lives like totally normal people do at the garden walnut table. Let me switch it on so Anna's in the shop. In the shot happily. I'm in the shot. Excellent. So, as we said, here at the garden variety table, we discuss. Garden walnut table. Thank you for correcting me and interrupting me. You're welcome, Adam. I am thrilled to be here. I'm sure you are. At the garden walnut table. Yes. So, Lana, let's discuss some issues. We've written them down here just in case we get lost in our anger. Drama. So, Anna, you have a, your first issue that you want to discuss oh, with I me? Do. I do, I do. By all means. So, as you know, you were supposed to do the vacuuming last week, which doesn't explain why I found cobwebs in the corners, Adam. I've had to kill two spiders. Stopped you before. Anyway, the reason, Anna, that there was no vacuuming done was because in every room that I would vacuum, there was garbage on the floor. Therefore, I couldn't really vacuum around the garbage without having to do an extra chore of having to put the garbage in the garbage bag. In front of the couch, bedroom. That's fake news. Oh, fake news. Yeah. Oh, that's you got very, something? Very, very mature. Oh, do I have something. You see, I've told Anna, we have an air fryer. And I've told Anna when we do the air frying, which is very good and it's a great thing, you should check one out. When we do the air fryer after we cook something, like chicken or something like that, you need to separate the two pieces and you need to rinse them out really well. Because if you let them sit for a couple days, and when I usually do the uh, dishes on Sunday, which is my normal day of doing the dishes, uh, then it's really hard for me to get the caked on chicken off of there. And it stinks really bad, too. It's been sitting there for days. So, Anna, what do you have to say about not doing what I told you to do on the air fryer? How dare you? How dare you? I did clean the, 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 the air fryer. I scrubbed it really hard. I know they're your raw emotions. You bring them up any time I say something about the air fryer. But anyway, I'm sorry for bringing up the air fryer crowd out there. I didn't mean to make her cry. But Anna, you know what? Maybe it's maybe it's time that you brought up some more truths here at, at my expense. Here at the Olive Garden table. The garden walnut. Garden walnut table. You bet I will. Bring it on. <laughs> Adam. Yes, Anna. You have a tendency to rant. I don't know if you're aware, but you rant <laughs> a lot. Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because you're absolutely right. I do rant, don't I? Uh, what did I rant about? Huh? The 
Well, what'd you tell the audience well, what I rant about? Week, you were ranting about how much you hate mayonnaise. And that really hurt my heart. Because I love mayonnaise. You love mayonnaise? I love it. You don't love mayonnaise. If I've I, never seen you eat one sandwich or anything with mayonnaise. If I could, I would marry mayonnaise. Oh, would you? I hope you had a happy <laughs> life. <laughs> mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. I tell you about mayonnaise. It's disgusting. It's made from eggs, which makes people fart, and that stinks really, really bad. Rotten eggs. Stinks. And you know what? Your sister put it in a cake last Christmas and then told us after we ate the cake there was mayonnaise on it! Adam, you're doing it again. You're right, Anna. I am. Mm -hmm. I Perhaps. am doing it again. Perhaps you would like to discuss Maybe we can move on to something Here else. at yes. the garden walnut table. That's right. At the We're walnut all salad table we are going to discuss. All the, wall, uh, all the drama happens. All the drama! And after you told lies about liking mayonnaise, I don't even, I can barely speak to you and look you in the eye. However, you want to talk about ranting? Let me talk about a certain Hugo Weaving obsession that somebody at this table has. And I got, I got a good clue for you. It ain't me. You see, many, many moons ago. Oh, oh, uh, sorry, but honey, what were you saying? This is exactly what I'm talking about. I say something, she interrupts me, and then I don't get to say what I'm saying. Now, as I was saying, many moons ago at that place called Tecumseh, one night around a picnic table we were discussing celebrity crushes. People that we would, you know, have crushes on because they were attractive. Yeah. And Anna brought up that she has a serious attraction to Hugo Weaving. For those of you uh. who don't know who Hugo Weaving is, he played Red Skull in Captain America, he was uh, Agent Smith in The Matrix, he was in Lord of the Rings. As Elrond. As Elrond, yes. He... <laughs> do you need do you need a moment alone there, Anna? Is that what you need to do? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what, just your obsession. Me, just me and the garden walnut table. Yes, you and your garden walnut. And Hugo Weaving. And Hugo Weaving, Weaving yes. Hugo Weaving, yes. He had an awesome movie called Priscilla Queen of the Desert. How many times have you watched that movie? 150 in one week? It's a good movie. Movie it is a good movie, but regardless, it seems a little go. obsessive to watch it. Oh, you want to you want to accuse me of being obsessive? Mm. You think I'm being obsessive? I do think you're being obsessive. Oh, oh okay. What you know you what? Got? What do you got? How do you explain that? It's an empty bottle. It is a read the label. It's an empty bottle of tea, Abana, a uh, peach mango, or no blood orange and mango white tea. What? What about it? What about it? Seeing her again, aren't you? Seeing who? Her. The Tiavano whore. Oh, for God's sake. That shameless homewrecker is bringing Tiavana back into my home. Oh, we've discussed this before. You know that my only people that I would ever want to sleep with besides you are Elizabeth Shue and Lauren Cohen. All right? We discussed this. Also, the Tiavana whore was a joke, Anna. It was a joke. As in... This is a joke to you? It was not a joke to me. I was saying that we were there on Valentine's Day trying Tiavana like this. We took a picture together, sipping the tea. It's on Facebook. Just look at my pages. And you texted me with the picture saying, Who is this whore? And we laughed about it. It became a joke. But now you become obsessed? Like, that, there's this imaginary woman who looks, by the way, looks exactly like you! That is somehow breaking up our marriage. Well, let me talk about something that's... I don't know if I can trust you anymore. Oh, really? You know what's breaking up my marriage? Or breaking up my sleep, rather? Is your snoring. Okay. Uh, you snore like a buzzsaw. I can yeah. hear you in the other room, so? even with the TV blaring. Mm -hmm. I can hear you through the wall story and? and mumbling and talking, and it drives me up a wall. And especially when I try to come and sleep, oh my God, it's like snoring right okay. in my ear you know like what? a buzzsaw. Uh, you know what, honey? I barely since, since sleep. Since you want to go there, um, 
Drink it's my Kool-Aid here. It's time to pull out the big guns. I hate your puns. I hate them. They're not, like, they're not even good puns. Like, they, they require little brain power to come up oh, with. No, they're not clever. They're stupid. I don't think we should um, discuss this. I, I think we should well, table this, the this, issue at the Walnut Garden Variety Table. This is the Garden Walnut Table. This is the perfect place, and definitely not the place to pull out yet another crappy pun. Honey, you know that I'm very influenced by my father and his sense of humor. He told puns growing up, all right? That's why I naturally am pun punerific. Me and friends tell puns all the time. If you recall, the dressing room. Mm hmm Yours were always the worst. I just think with other, other people, I, I, I put puns in me. I, I'm not a pun master. I can't believe you bring this up here at this table and in front of all these people, Adam. Yeah, you would make me feel this way. In front of all these people! Yeah, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Maybe it wasn't, huh? Maybe this was a really stupid idea, you know? People should definitely never fake that they're having marital problems just to sell a hustle. And they should probably not discuss their actual private issues in front of a camera. Because that's deranged. Bye-bye. I love you. Love you too.